I was... I was born October the 7th, 1991, at Mobile General Hospital. I can't... I guess I came here because I hope that that, um, that meant something to you. October Baby, you know, is a story of Hannah who finds out she was adopted and didn't know because she's a survivor of an abortion. So she goes on a journey to find her birth mother. So the casting of her birth mother was very, very important. Uh, we needed a great actor and we needed somebody who looked like Rachel. So you instantly knew when you saw her, this is her mother. And I had worked with an actor uh, named Sherry who was just a wonderful actor. She, uh, we did a casting crowns music video that won uh, video of the year and she played one of the main roles in it. And she's a, a longtime friend um, of ours. And uh, we cast her specifically for the part of the birth mother in the movie because she looks so much like the lead actress, Rachel. John emailed me the script, and of course I was so excited. I, I think I sat down that very night. I got to the point of the birth mother, and um, I, was, I, I, I was so overwhelmed, I started crying over it because the story actually had been truly written for me, and John and Andy didn't even know my backstory at all. And uh, she read it and uh, literally called me back uh, just weeping uh, about the script and said, how did you know? And, uh, and we said, what are you talking about? And she said, um, 20 years ago, I was working in a law firm, which is very similar to the story. She said she was in a relationship. Uh, she found out she was pregnant and she decided to have an abortion. It was easier to get rid of the child, to not be questioned again, rather than to have a child and be looked upon at that time like another failure. <laughs> and so many times, uh, I think especially as young women, we carry that, um, that burden that we're going to look like a failure, that, that it's shameful. And um, you know, you can, care, you can hide a secret for a long time of abortion unless you verbally speak about it. Nobody knows. Nobody knows except um, you know, my husband, my therapist, and some people like that. And, and uh, we were blown away by that. And she said, I feel like this is God telling me that it's time for me to share my story. And I just remember hearing John on the other line going, wow, like, wow. From the post-abortive mother, it was very important to be very sensitive to that and for this to be a healing movie for them. And so uh, having Sherry's voice and having her play the role was just phenomenal to make sure that that came across very authentic and very uh, sensitive. forward uh, and filmed her scene, she wasn't acting. I mean, it was as real as you could get. It was um, one of the more moving things I've ever seen. We went into it and I remember the cameras rolling and I just, right as I walked into the room, I just knew that, I just knew that the Lord was with me. And that, it was just complete healing in the moment that I slide down that door and that I that I'm crying and I'm feeling that that wasn't acting that was my moment with God and him with me to say it's okay it's over and you've been forgiven <laughs> <laughs>